Assalamu alaikum. Hello there. Let's do question 8 C and D as you requested. Okay, so 8C we have cos theta over 2. Our angle is theta over 2. So if you see angle theta over 2 here, what does it mean? It is actually means what does it mean? It is actually mean we need to use double angle. It is related with the half angle formula. Both of them are involved. Okay. So, so we start with double angle formula first. Okay. So cos 2A equals to 2 cos A minus 1. Half angle formula, which we will have cos A equals to cos A over 2 minus 1. Alright. So, you have to know that it is actually the angle that has been changed. The angle is changed from 2A to A, from A to A over 2, divided by 2. Okay. It's becoming half of the angle. That's why it's called half angle formula. Okay. So this is what we want. From the question 8C, we want cos theta over 2. So that's why in this half angle formula, ada cos A over 2. Jadi kita rearrange sahaja. Kita rearrange sahaja dan kita akan dapat cos theta equals to 2 cos theta over 2 minus 1. Oops, alamak, saya tertinggal squared. There we go, baru saya sedar. Ada squared dekat situ. So it is actually 2 cos squared theta over 2 minus 1. Sorry. Okay. So, masukkan squared dekat situ. And then, you rearrange it. You make sure you jadikan cos squared sebagai subjek dulu. And then, you're going to get that. After that, you jadikan cos sahaja. Cos sahaja without squared. Cos sahaja sebagai subjek. And you, you, you're going to get square root, right? Tapi, ada dua ni lah. Iaitu positif and negative. Square root of the answer. The thing is, recall from the question given to us that sin theta equals to 1 over 4. At the quadrant of second one. The second quadrant, sebab apa? Sebab kita diberi angle 90 degree until 180 degree. Of course, kena faham sendiri lah. Itu adalah second quadrant. So, you buatlah uh, opposite adjacent hypotenuse. You masukkan nilai soh OH. 1 and 4. You dapatlah nilai adjacent. Okay. You dapatlah nilai adjacent iaitu square root 15. And then, you keluarkan nilai cos theta instead. So, cos theta adalah adalah square root 15 over 4 and tangent theta equals to 1 over square root 15 and then all sign teacher crazy only the sign is positive therefore the rest of the cos and tangent is negative sebab dia ada second quadrant betul tak sebab tu penting pasal quadrant ni kedudukan dia penting melibatkan negative tu lah so barulah kita masukkan nilai cos theta tersebut iaitu cos theta tersebut adalah bernilai Negative square root 15 over 4. And then plus 1 divided by 2. Everything divided by 2. And then you use your calculator. And then you're going to get positive and negative of 0 0.126 of the nilai. Nice. we almost there. But we are not there yet. Okay, not yet. Because kita ada dua nilai dekat situ. Yang kita nak hanyalah salah satu sahaja. Macam mana nak tahu salah satu sahaja? Macam uh, macam mana saya nak tahu mana jawapan yang betul? It is actually by okay, apa-apa pun separatekan dulu dua jawapan ni. So, it is actually by Okay, sorry. Which one is true? Which one is true statement according to your quadrant again given to us that is theta is in between 90 degree and 180 degree which is this is at the second quadrant betul tak tetapi tetapi we have theta over 2 kita diminta untuk cari theta over 2 bukannya theta 
Jadi kita kenalah tukar daripada theta menjadi menjadi change it to theta, change it the theta into theta over 2. Therefore I change my theta into theta over 2. Therefore I got 45 degree to 90 degree which is it is at the at the first quadrant instead. So now my theta over 2 is at the first quadrant therefore therefore which one is suitable? Which one is my answer? My answer is my answer, my final answer is of course, first quadrant is everything is positive. Therefore, the answer is cos theta over 2 equals to positive positive 0 0.126 only the positive nilai. Good. Okay, now let's solve question D which is sine pula, sine theta over 2. So, it is actually repeating the step the step I used just now exactly quite the same which is I start with double angle okay so double angle kita formula dia adalah cos 2a okay so kita kena pilih disebabkan cos 2a ni ada banyak formula kan so kita pilih lah yang ada sin so kita pilih iaitu 1 minus 2 sin squared a alright so half angle dia pula akan jadi cos a equals to 1 minus 2 sin squared a over to just make sure you choose the ones having the sign lah sebab cos 2a ada tiga formula kan so yeah so you must memorize this it will be much easier if you do so okay so what we need to do is just jadikan 2 sin squared a over 2 sebagai subject rearrange it and you're gonna get 1 minus cos a Theta. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I must use theta. Sebab soalan adalah theta, kan? Jadi, saya dividekan both side dengan 2. Divide both side with 2. And then, saya jadikan sine sebagai subjek. Dapatlah square root plus and minus. I've got two answers. And then, I need to sub in the value of cos theta from the above. From the above yang kita dah cari tadi. Okay. So, tadi kita dah cari which is it is equals to square root 15 over 4. So, masukkanlah sahaja nilai cos theta ke dalam square root ni. And then you solve it by using your calculator and you're going to get plus and minus 0 0.992. Okay. But... You have two answer here. Okay. One is positive and another one is negative. But we... But the answer is only one, guys. Salah satu sahaja yang betul. Manakah satu yang betul? So, again, which one is the answer? The final answer, the correct one. It is actually by referring your theta, your original theta iaitu in between 90 degree to 180 degree. Pada soalan tu sendiri kan, itu diberi pada kita, given to us. And then what you need to change is just theta over 2. Divide everything, every angle into half. Therefore, you get 45 degree until 90 degree. And you know it is at the first quadrant. And you know at the first quadrant, everything the sine cos tangent is positive. Therefore, the only answer is positive 0 0.992 only.